Yo guys, what's up? I'm back. It's been a while, but today I'm here with some extremely exciting Kingdom Hearts 3 news, so let's get into it. To give a little backstory, about a week ago, these screenshots dropped on the internet from a supposed Square Enix server. Not everybody was fully convinced that these were real, even though it was extremely impressive what we were seeing. One of the biggest flaws found in this screenshot was the HUD. In this screenshot, we can see that Sora's costume has changed. And with following the norm of the past couple Kingdom Hearts games, Sora and the others' icons change to correspond with their costume change. But as we can see here in this screenshot, the HUD did not change. It's just regular Sora. And we know for a fact that the HUDs do change in Kingdom Hearts 3 since Sora and the gang's HUD changed in the Toy Story trailer. But that did not stop me from believing that this was real. I knew that these were in development screenshots, so it would make sense that the HUD wasn't there. Also, if we consider that maybe someone made these screenshots, it wouldn't make sense for them to make a Mike and Sully HUD and just forget to make ones for Sora, Donald, and Goofy. If it was fake, he would definitely fabricate the HUD as well, so it probably makes more sense that the HUD is just in development and wasn't fully implemented yet than the leaker forgot to make it and this is actually fake. But today, all questions can be put to rest as we just got an abundance of new leaked screenshots that can point to its legitimacy. I can probably say with certainty that these leaks are most likely 95% real based off of what we've seen. So let's take a look at some of these new screenshots. This is probably the one that sticks out to me the most. As you can see, Boo is in it. This points to something that I really did not expect, which is this is probably going to take the story of the movie. As you may or may not know, a lot of these worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3 have original plots. For example, Toy Story and Big Hero 6 are just two of the worlds that have already been confirmed to have a fully original plot that has not been used in a movie before. Back when I saw the original screenshot of just Mike and Sully in the lobby of Monsters Inc., I kind of thought that it was going to be an original plot that takes place after the original Monsters Inc. But with Boo here clearly the same age as she was in the movie, it points to a more likely story based off of the film. That doesn't mean that it's going to be exactly based off of the film, it could just be the events right after it, but we definitely know for a fact that Boo is in it if these leaks are real, which they probably are. Now this screenshot in particular shows off the place in the movie that made me want it in Kingdom Hearts 3 the most, which is the room with all of the doors in it that Mike and Sully climb on in the climax of the film, with all of the thousands of doors. Now this is going to be incredible, especially if you consider that big chase scene at the end of the movie when they're chasing Randall and they're riding on the doors through all the rails. You imagine how Sora can be grinding on the rails with flow motion and he can be jumping all over the place and using all the parkour elements that are going into this game. Trust me, if these leaks are real and we know for a fact that this area of the game is going to include all those doors then it is going to be spectacular and we know that this map is gigantic as you can see in the top corner there are multiple layers to the map so it could point to all these doors and this location you can even kind of see the doors over by the right you can see kind of rows in the map so maybe that is the doors but even you can see in this picture there are a ton of doors here so i'm really excited for that now within these screenshots we get a good look at everybody's face except for Sora. That was really disappointing but we can clearly see that the developer is not controlling Sora. But for instance we see Donald and it looks like he has one eye. We don't get a close up view of him but we can see here that it looks like he has one eye and also in this picture we can really only see one eye opened. So it looks like Donald has one eye which he could be taking from Mike and Goofy looks goofy that's all i can really say about him in this next screenshot we see another angle of the room we were just in in the previous screenshot it looks like this is one of those relaxed rooms where you can save your game and the characters are there to talk to this is further proven by the fact that whenever there is one of these rooms they always have characters that aren't in your actual party that you can talk to and since boo is here and she definitely won't be in our party because she can't fight 
it would make sense that this would be one of those rooms. Now in this next one, we can see that they are in some kind of underground part of the facility, further cementing the fact that this is going to be one world that we've never really seen anything like before. If it is real, let me just stress that again, that it is a leak. But other than that, it does look very cool. We can see Sora looks like he's talking to Mike, but we really don't know for sure. He could just be doing some kind of gesture when you go up to him, kind of like how in Sun and Moon, if you go up to the people in Haoli City, you'll do a little wave to them in the Hawaiian style. So it makes sense that it would be something like that. In this next screenshot, we can see Sora's walking animation and Donald in what seems to be a room that is not very familiar, but again, looks very cool and unfamiliar to us as we've never really seen anything like this in a Kingdom Hearts game, a kind of dystopian monster facility. So I think it's very cool. It reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy XV and all the facilities in there. So this could be pretty cool if they pull it off right. In the further distance, we see Mike, Sully, and Boo standing at the door, so this might be one of those save point rooms because whenever there is one of those, the party is dispersed and they seem very far away from us in a fixed location. So the next couple of screenshots are the big ones and they confirm something pretty important that we should discuss. The fact that these were taken in different times. The first couple of screenshots seem to be taken in early development. I hear 2015 roaming around, but that's not confirmed. It does seem very likely though, so let's just say that these screenshots here were taken in 2015. This screenshot looks like it's present day and up to par with our trailers. So it does seem like we're getting pretty close to the end of development for this world, and maybe all of the worlds, we just really don't know. The 2319 guys are in the back of this along with some Heartless, Unversed, all the party members, and a lot of fire, and a brand new location. Again, cementing the fact that this is probably real. I know that there are a lot of talented people out there, especially people that know how to use Unreal 4. There are a couple people on YouTube that can make their own 3D demos using Unreal 4 graphics that are incredible, but nothing like this. I've never seen anybody perfectly emulate a style of a game that hasn't come out yet. Of course, I could probably see someone making something like this if the game has come out and they can just rip the models and the textures and the graphics from the game itself, but I don't think that this guy could have done this unless he's a master editor and took Sora, Donald, and Goofy's model from the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers and took Mike and Sully from that Xbox game or maybe Disney Infinity and just made them better and made his own environments, but I really don't think that's true. I think that this is real. And while it kind of sucks that we had to find out by a leaked screenshot, I am still extremely excited for this world if it does turn out to be real. I just hope that soon, maybe sooner than February, we can get a trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3 displaying this world. I would kind of be disappointed if we got this world at the February D23 event. We are probably going to be getting more than one world at the February event, but still, I would like one trailer in January and then one in February. I know I might be asking for too much because having trailers so close to each other, but I do think it's a good idea to start having a lot more trailers. I did not expect to have trailer right after the Toy Story one, but I would have liked to have at least one before the end of the year, which I obviously don't think is happening unless they do a surprise thing like they did a while ago. They had a little surprise trailer shown. I think it was with Sora and the Santa hat. They had a surprise trailer for the end of the year. I really hope that happens. I have to check back at when that happened and when that was announced. Hopefully it happens again. Because I would really love to see a trailer for this world before we go to D23. I know I made a prediction that this game would be out by March, which was really dumb. Because that was around August when I thought maybe if they just go into full promotion then it could be out by March. Which I don't know what I was thinking. I was just super excited because of the trailer. But I do think this game is coming out holiday 2018. So it would make sense for them to go into full promotion right after February or maybe even before like I said with the trailer displaying Monsters Inc. 
again, this could all be fake, and to that I say, bravo, because this man is a genius and needs a job somewhere now, or maybe he already has one, and he's just making making his stuff while he's doing everything else, but if this is fake, just know um, this was a whole waste of time. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, you know, again, don't take this too literally, but I do think it is okay to be excited right now because this is really convincing and is definitely our biggest leak for Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. It's been about five years and I've not seen a leak as good as this yet. I was in sixth grade when this game was announced. I was there for it all. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it has been a while since my last video, but I've been working hard at school and just do hope to make a lot more videos, especially some that release while I'm still in school and can't really make any. So until next time, guys, I probably won't make a video until after the new year. Maybe I'll make one if there's a Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, but I'd really like to work on some other videos that I've been wanting to make for a while, like Top 10 Johto Pokemon. So hopefully you stay tuned for that. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.